Um, in regards to the amendment, uh, you know, it's disappointing that Section 7 was removed. I think that the agreement that was made in the Judicial Committee between one of the co-chairs and, and members of the Judicial Committee and, and reducing from probable cause to reasonable and articulable suspicion was a halfway point. And, and it went beyond the simple pulling up and, and, and asking the person in the vehicle, uh, can I search your vehicle? There had to be more to that. Such as, as an example, you walk up, you're talking to the operator about a motor vehicle violation, and you notice a sweatshirt that matches the sweatshirt of somebody who was firing a gun the day before in the back seat. And, and it's pretty close to um, that sweatshirt. And then you start asking questions, and, and the operator says, yeah, I was in the area last night. And you start building that reasonable suspicion. And then you ask the question, do you have any knives, weapons, or drugs in the car? Can I search? All right, you, and, but you have to articulate this. You have to write a report within 48 hours. That's what this original bill, and this removes, this, this amendment removes that. Motor vehicle stops and consent searches remove more drugs and more weapons than any other form of police work. And when I look around Connecticut right now and I see the number of shootings and violent crimes, it makes me take notice. It's making a lot of law enforcement take notice. And so I am disappointed that that wasn't done and I am gonna take the word of the chair, uh, the other co-chair that you know, something will be worked on with that because it's an important tool. And to be honest with you, because you have to do that report um, for reasonable, reasonable and articulable suspicion when asking this, that's actually going to stop a lot of officers because, believe it or not, police don't like to do reports, even though we have to. When I look at the uh, the other amendments that were that, that are put here uh, or put into place here, one of them is the different crimes that we we noted um, that should not be eligible for erasure. And when we put this list together, it, it obviously was not an, a totally inclusive list. There's still many charges out there that can be or are just as serious and can and can be problematic. But I, I'm, I am sure the House will bring those out when uh, they discuss this further. And the other part was the um, reducing by one day the, the misdemeanors. And you know, we have a couple misdemeanors just on this list uh, of people. Um, assault of an elderly, blind, disabled, and pregnant person. So we're going to reduce that one by a day which means that this person can stay in the country. Um, thankfully, this charge won't be erased, so if they are arrested again, you know, uh, you know, maybe we'll be able to remove them. But one of the, one of the, the problems is, is if this person had a gun charge and had a serious offense and it was pled down um, to a misdemeanor, which means it wouldn't have been a year because everybody knows that 90% of the, the uh, gun cases, probably more than that, are just dropped in court. So, you know, when you plead it down and it, and it goes below that, it's not going to be reported to federal officials. Um, and then we could have a dangerous person uh, still walking around uh, the state of Connecticut. I find that to be dangerous. I am pleased that as part of this, we are going to be talking about uh, the juveniles and, and the car thefts. Uh, I, I wish we could expand that a little more because as we've seen, some people have died because of these car thefts and, and some people have gotten seriously hurt and it's something that truly needs to be addressed to stop this. So I hope at some point, you know, this is a good start, but we can go beyond that. So there are, you know, there's, I am not happy about Section 7. But I am happy that at least this group of charges were removed from, uh, uh, these, these crimes were removed from the automatic erasure. And like I said, I'm sure they'll bring out the rest. And I am happy about the other section. So I am going to support this amendment. And hopefully in the end, we can fix the rest of it. Thank you, Madam President.
Thank you, Senator Champagne.